Over thousands of years, empires and republics have risen and fallen. With Jedi and Sith alike coming to power or falling to a mere memory, one thing, however, was always the constant. The seven lightsaber fighting styles. Hello everyone, and welcome to an all new series on the channel, which will go over the seven lightsaber fighting styles, who used them, and their pros and cons. Let's begin today's installment with the first fighting style. Used by all Old Republic Jedi when they first began their training, as the most ancient style of lightsaber combat, Shi Cho was developed during the transition period from swords to lightsabers. As swords were used in the same way lightsabers were, the techniques and maneuvers such as attacks or parries were interchangeable as the key principles of the old sword fighting methods continued to be incorporated. The simplicity and persistent methods of the form led it to being dubbed the Way of the Sarlacc, or the Determination Form. Pros Shi Cho was exceptional at confronting multiple opponents, the wide, sweeping motions being ideally suited towards attacking numerous adversaries. It was the most simple of the forms. In the hands of a master, the blade work was described as like watching water flow over the falls. However, less adept practitioners displayed much more basic and somewhat clumsy performance. Obi-Wan Kenobi commented Form 1 was wild, raw, and deadly, requiring much emotional heat, and Kid Fisto noted how hard it was to control the pull from Form 1, disabling opponents rather than killing them. Kenobi sometimes did infuse elements of Shicho into his sword's play, including in the rematch with Count Dooku on board the Invisible Hand. Dooku himself described Shicho's sword play as deliberate as a lumber droid, moving step by step, cutting off the angles, clumsy but relentless. As the most simplistic form, Shicho was the first form taught to initiates within the Jedi Order. Form 1 training provided the basic knowledge of the sword fighting principles and blast deflection skill that was required for practice of all the other forms. Now you know that scene in episode 4 where we see Luke learning to use the lightsaber under Obi-Wan's guidance? Well, in order to teach students to draw upon the force rather than rely on their senses, early level Shicho blast deflect training was conducted with a blindfold, forcing the initiate to rely upon his instincts. Later, training was conducted through the use of sequences and velocities, the continuous repetition making the moves instinctive reflexes. These training regimens were carried over to all following lightsaber combat forms, which used similar methods. The Cons Form 1 was ideal when heavily outnumbered and effective against many opponents, but a single opponent was able to find flaw within it. For example, this proved to be Kit Fisto's downfall to Sidious in Revenge of the Sith. Form 1 was also no match for any opponent who used Form 2, mainly practitioners who incorporated its methods into their preferred fighting style. So, in a sense, almost everyone used Form 1 at varying moments of their duels. While basic and liquid to be applied to many fights, Shi Cho was easily matched and ultimately limited. The reason for its downfall against single opponents was because the enemies had complete mobility and could find a weakness in Shicho's comparatively clumsy blade work. As Shicho developed prior to either the emergence of Dark Jedi or Sith Lords, it was not created with lightsaber to lightsaber combat in mind. Despite this, it was the preferred form of such groups when they began appearing as it was quite simply the only option. Notable practitioners of Shicho were basically every single Jedi, as it was said that every Jedi should be proficient in Shicho, as they learned the form as younglings. A few honorable mentions are Luke Skywalker, Master Yoda, General Grievous, Kit Fisto, and Darth Treya. As lightsaber duels between practitioners of the Force became increasingly common, Form 1 was judged as being inadequate for the task, leading to the development of the second form of lightsaber combat, also known as Makashi. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and thank you for watching. Let me know what I could do to make the second form of lightsaber combat more informative or entertaining. Thank you, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends. I hope you all had a great day, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. And as always, May the Force be with you. Now, fulfill your destiny.